more and more podcasts are starting to use this thumbnail template. Now, this is really important because it works at getting viewers clicks. And as Mr. Beast always says, if people don't click, they don't watch. If people don't <coughs> click, they don't watch. AI thumbnail generators are now a thing, but I've not seen an AI that can make this style of thumbnail for us until now. So you're going to see the new AI I found that creates these thumbnail hubs for us instantly in one click, and I'll run you through exactly how to use it yourself. Great, so the AI that does this is called Tarja AI. You'll see the name of it here. And I'll pop a link to it in the description to this video so you can try this seven day free trial out for yourselves. And if we look down here, we'll see the feature we're interested in, AI generated thumbnails that makes these types of podcast thumbnails for us. It takes an image of the speaker's face from the actual podcast itself puts some interesting text next to the person and replicates that popular style that I showed you at the start of the video. Like I said, I've not seen any other AI that does this yet. So to use Tarja to make those thumbnails for us, first we need to grab the URL to the video on YouTube that we want the thumbnail for. So I'm gonna grab the URL for this podcast conversation. It's on my channel that doesn't yet have a thumbnail. Then we simply paste the URL of that video into the optimization area of Tarja and press optimize. And after a few short seconds, we see this screen, which is where we'll get our thumbnails. We'll see here that the AI has used speech to text technology to convert the video to a script so that it can properly understand what the video is about. And by doing that, if we look down here, the AI has actually generated some new title ideas based on what is said in the video that it believes are going to perform really well on YouTube. This is also amazing for beginner YouTubers alongside the thumbnail, title is so important in getting people to click and watch our video and if we scroll down we can see little previews of what it would look like if we chose to use either of those five titles for our video within youtube so super time saving for coming up with new titles but as you can see we don't yet have a thumbnail for the video it's just taken a screenshot from the video so let's scroll down and we can quickly see here too, the AI has written a complete description, SEO optimized for that video that we're working on with timestamp chapters here. Another huge time saver for YouTubers. We don't have to watch our videos anymore to find out when the different chapters start in our videos. The AI does it for us. And if we scroll down, the AI has also come up with SEO optimized tags for this video based on what we say in that video. Incredible. But we are interested in thumbnails for this video. So let's scroll down to what we're really looking for. It's this section here, the thumbnail section. We're now going to click this generate thumbnail box to automatically get thumbnails created for us in the style that we saw at the start of the video. So let's do that now. And this is really cool. We can see the AI is analyzing the video, finding the individuals in the video, finding the moments where those individuals had expressive expressions on their face and using those findings to put these thumbnails together. And after a few seconds, the AI has finished its first step. I still need to go in and fine tune these to get them looking exactly how I want. But for now, we can see the AI has found expressive moments of both me and the speaker in this podcast, instantly cut our faces out of the original video and put them into the thumbnail. And also it's decided on some powerful text to summarize what's happening in the video and included it in the thumbnail. We can see revolutionize your editing here and transform your workflow there. So huge time saver there in cutting out the speakers from the original video and also helping us think of what supporting text we wanna include in, in these thumbnails. Now I actually want to create a thumbnail that looks like this one used for this Lance Armstrong podcast. So to replicate that, I'm gonna jump into this thumbnail that the AI has made for me with just me in it and customize it to get it similar to the style I want. Okay, great. So to get this close to the original inspiration, first we are going to align this left, like in the original, we're gonna get rid of this pink highlighting because there wasn't any highlights in that Lance Armstrong thumbnail. We'll get rid of that transparent background as we don't need it, so we'll make that invisible. I've just changed the font to, and now we just need to change the color to orange. Now we're just gonna move me over to the right a bit more to get out of the way of the text. And finally, we just need a black background. So I'm gonna select the current AI generated background and delete that, and we're left with this black background. I'll just make the text a bit bigger and rearrange it. And look at that, in a few seconds with no design experience, we have a thumbnail generated in the style we want. We can save it up here 
And if we want, we can download that image by just clicking this button here. YouTube now lets you test three different thumbnail designs at the same time when you release a new video to see what performs best. So I found these three podcast styles I wanted to replicate and test against each other for that podcast chat. And I was able to quickly create these three versions of my own using this new AI tool from Taja in less than five minutes total. I mean, they're not going to win you any design awards, but if you're short on time or just don't have a clue how to do this yourself, this could be really useful. And it's not just podcasts that are going to find value here. That thumbnail style is now being used by just normal educational channels that make talking head videos like this because it performs well for them too. So huge value in having the process automated to make these types of thumbnails. Then if we just scroll down and press this sync to YouTube button, when we go to YouTube and open that video up, we can see the AI generated title, the description with the timestamps, Right down the bottom, we've got the SEO optimized tags for the video. And the last thumbnail we are working on inside Taja has been automatically sent from Taja into YouTube in just a single click of a button. I can then head into the YouTube test and compare feature and add the additional two thumbnails that were also made inside that AI tool so that when this video launches, these three thumbnails will be tested alongside each other. So huge time saver there, having all that stuff generated and pushed over to YouTube for us for each video. And there's one other huge time saver for podcasters I want to show you here. It's this generate shorts feature. If we just press this and after a minute or two, we are given these. I'll scroll down quickly so you can see there's seven of them. We've been given seven short clips from that original podcast that we can use on TikTok, YouTube shorts and Instagram to bring even more attention to that original podcast. And for each short clip, you get given a title to use for it, a description here to copy and paste, and tags to use for that video too. You can go into any one of these clips, correct any misspelling on the captions, change the style of your captions, and even add AI B-roll on top of the original footage. Just another reason why I thought this tool was such a huge time saver for podcasters. So as I said earlier, there's a seven day free trial to test this out yourself. You can get that by clicking the link in the description. After that, the starter plan starts at $105 a year and goes up at the prices you'll see on the screen now. Looks like there's a 40% off sale at the moment too. So you can grab that if you're quick. Just make sure you're not missing AI tools like this. There's so much new AI tech now changing the games for creators, helping us save time. It's incredible. Arja actually has a feature where you can go back and fix dead videos on your channel. I didn't have time to talk about it in this video, but I have a complete walkthrough of how that backlog revival feature works in this video. So go and watch that next if you want to learn more about that. And obviously subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Great.